Hey guys, it's Megan and welcome to today's video. I have a Dollar Tree haul that I'm so excited to share with you guys. I hit the jackpot, the mother load, whatever you want to call it, I hit it this day. I found so many things that I have wanted to find and the majority of it is all like farmhouse style decor. I am so excited about everything I found. I can't wait to show it to you guys. So make sure to give this video a thumbs up if you love Dollar Tree hauls and if you haven't subscribed to my channel yet, I would love for you to subscribe. So this Dollar Tree trip, I was literally going in there with a list of last minute things that I needed to get for Easter and a friend's baby shower that I was helping co-host and decorate for. And I went in there and found so many things not on my list that I couldn't help it. And it all started in the like coffee mug aisle plates. And I was just looking, I needed to get some white plates for Easter and all of a sudden I saw these coffee mugs. Are you ready? Oh my God, I about died. I saw these coffee mugs. There were four of them, so I will show you all four because I bought all four. I about died when I saw these mugs. They are so farmhouse looking to me. Dollar Tree always knocks it out of the park with their um, like holiday mugs and stuff, but they're normal mugs. I like some of them, but these are totally different than I've ever seen at Dollar Tree. So I got this one, what does it say? Great ideas start with great coffee. I love this one so much. Then I got this one that says cappuccino. How adorable is this? I love that the uh, rims are like lined in black. It's just so farmhouse vintage, like shabby chic looking to me. I absolutely love these. Then I got this one that says the best time to drink coffee is now. Love it so much. I think I actually got two of these, or no, I got two of the other one, the great idea, start with coffee. And then lastly, I got this one that says latte. Again, I just love the design of it. It's so cute. It's gonna look so cute in my bar area, coffee bar area. I love them. I usually always do so great with Dollar Tree stuff for the holidays, but decorating with Dollar Tree stuff, unless I'm like DIYing something, I don't feel like I hit the jackpot as much. Um, during like times where I'm not buying holiday stuff until the stuff that I found today or this trip, not today, but this trip, I hadn't had a chance to film anything because of Easter and then I was out of town for um, the baby shower was in Miami, which that stuff will be coming soon. I'll be sharing everything with you guys with that. But when I saw all this stuff, I'm like, yes, things that I can use just every day, like right now in my house, that's not holiday related, so I don't have to take it down immediately. I'm so excited with the things that I found. I also did get this other coffee mug that says, make today awesome. They had a few um, other coffee mugs like this. This is the size and style that Dollar Tree typically has that they write different things on. These come with the writing on both sides. So this one only has it on the one side, and then this is a much shinier, um, look than this one and they're kind of as you can see shaped a little bit different not too different I did take some pictures while I was doing this little shopping trip so I will insert those at the end of the other coffee mugs I took pictures of and the rest of the stuff that I took pictures of I was over the moon with those coffee mugs was continuing on with my list of things I actually needed to get and then I stumbled into another area that had Oh my God, everything. Like uh, it was one uh, shelf after another of things that I have wanted to find. And I took a picture of it and I was like, oh my gosh, this is amazing. The first things in the next area that I saw were, boom, these, I found both of them. I absolutely love these so much. You can keep them exactly how they are, which is uh, what I'm going to do because I think they're perfection. Um, but obviously you could paint them and write something else on the bottom if you wanted to. But the fact that Dollar Tree has these, I mean, what? It's insane to me. For one dollar, y'all, one dollar. I love these so much. I was so happy that I not only found one of them, but I found them both. I think these are the only two that they have. If they do have any more, let me know in the comments below. I would love that, but I was so excited to find these. Right in that same area, I found this. I actually have seen this before. It's like um, a cross slash windmill, in my opinion, slash 
flowery look, but it's definitely like a cross, but it also kind of looks like a windmill to me. Um, I love this. They have it in gray, I think in one other color. I don't know, but I knew I wanted the white, and every time I saw it, when I decided that I wanted it, I didn't see it in the white until now. So I had to grab this up. I was so glad to find this in the white. I think these little pieces are so great if you decorate like a three-tiered tray or if you have little accent shelves that you need to decorate for. These are perfect and so cute and springy and summery and I love them. And then right in that same area, I found this. Bless this house. I love, or what is it say? House or home? Bless this home. I think this is, again, so cute. It does have a little thing on the back where you could hang it if you wanted to. But again, I thought this would be really cute to use in my three-tiered tray. I love this galvanized look to it. It's got like the burlap kind of look behind it. It's a wood block. And they had this one. And I was able to find this one that says, Welcome to our home. I think this is so cute as well i absolutely love it and i'm so glad to have found them for a dollar i love so much that dollar tree is getting these items in that we can use in our home decor that's not holiday related because again i just feel like dollar tree was kind of lacking in like little things to use around your house that wasn't hol holiday related and so they have stepped it into high gear with the things that they're coming out with right now and it's so much farmhouse style stuff they're keeping on trend they're seeing what's going on, what's popular, and I think that is so cool that people can have the ability to get things for their home that they feel are current and trendy and still be able to afford it. And I just think that's so awesome and I love Dollar Tree for so many reasons and that's definitely one of them. I also found this one and this one's a little bit different but I did still want to, want to pick it up because I think this will be really pretty in my three-tiered tray as it gets a little bit closer to uh, fall like the end of August September because of the colors I'm so glad that I was able to find all three of these and I cannot wait to use them in my home The last things that I picked up are all wall art, but I picked up so many of them. Look at this ah! I've never picked up this much wall art from Dollar Tree ever before I went to go check out their wall art and I saw one really good one And then I saw another one. I was like I gotta go ahead and plant my butt down and go through all of this wall art and see what they have. So I sat my butt right on the Dollar Tree floor for about mm, 30 to 45 minutes and an end cap because that's where they had the majority of all their wall art, which was so odd, but I was like, oh, I don't care. So I sat down and I went through everything, put aside the ones I thought were good, then made another pile of the ones that I wanted to bring, and then I started taking pictures of it for you guys. So people were walking by me like, what is this girl doing? I was like, I don't care, I don't care. I gotta show all my peeps this stuff that I found so you guys can find it too, hopefully, if you are interested. All right, let's get into the wall art. So much farmhouse style, so much farmhouse style wall art at Dollar Tree right now. It's insane. The first one is this truck. I love this truck. I have one around Christmas that I got from Target. It's like an actual like bigger truck. Um, not a piece of wall art, but I thought this was so cute with the stuff in the back. This is a little bit more fall to me, so I got it to use around that time. And then I also got this one to use around fall as well. And this one is really cool looking because it's very different. It It's almost like this that's in here is a canvas. But it's not, it can't be really canvas. I don't know. It's just very different to me than like their typical wall art. Obviously, these frames are super cheap, um, so you can use them how they are, or you can paint them, or you can take them out and put this stuff in a different frame that's a little bit higher quality. So many things that you can do with them, but they're definitely worth a dollar for the images that you can use, in my opinion. The next one that I found is this one that says a farm fresh and, what does it say? Farm fresh and grow with love. I think this is so cute for a kitchen. I think that this will be really cute if it's more of a white frame and like the chalk white paint. Um, so that was probably what I'm going to do with this. But I just thought this was such a cute image to be able to find for a dollar. These next two I'm so obsessed with. I love them so much. And this one says herbs and it's, I love the coloring. The writing is in like this greenish color and Sorry about the light. And it's just so chic looking to me. And I thought it would go really cute 
kind of with this lemon what picture I love this picture as well it's just so spring and summer to me I'm obsessed with it then I found this spices one I think the herbs and the spices one would be really cute together as well I just love it it's so farmhouse style to me I've always said like well since farmhouse style decor has become a trend I used to search back before farmhouse style got its name shabby chic furniture because I've always liked to mix different styles of furniture together so I am not fully committed to farmhouse style I love it but I'm also committed to like blingy things and a little bit more modern stuff so I always say that my style is kind of more of a modern farmhouse but I definitely love the farmhouse feel of a lot of things along with that whole farmhouse style I found this one that I know is gonna go so fast and it's this farmhouse kitchen I do think that the framing would look a lot better if this was a white again like a chalk board chalk paint that's what I mean chalk paint white um, but I think this is so cute to add in a kitchen. Hobby Lobby, Michaels, they so many places have like these giant farmhouse signs. But I don't want something that's like a big farmhouse sign since I don't technically, I don't know. I just don't need something big that says farmhouse. I just like the style of it. But I do think that this was cute for a dollar to be able to put in the kitchen in a little area. I'm excited to have found this. And again, I think this will go fast. So if you see it, I would definitely grab it if you do want it. So that's pretty much it for the farmhouse style wall art, but I still have more wall art to show you. So this next one I've seen a few times, but I just think it is so cute for summer. It obviously says, hello summer, and I just had to grab it. I think I might actually use this on my porch outside somewhere. I don't know, but I just thought this was too cute to pass up. The rest of the wall art I picked up for the baby shower that I decorated slash co-hosted um, on Tuesday in Miami and I wasn't able to do anything with the frames. I just ran out of time between it being Easter and then the shower were like basically a day apart. I just totally ran out of time. This shower was not completely last minute, but a little bit, you know, I didn't have a ton of time to prepare. Plus I found this wall art the Saturday before Easter, like Saturday afternoon, then Easter was on Sunday and I just didn't have time. I, I ran out of time, but regardless, I still used them in the baby shower and I think they turned out super cute, even though I didn't have the frames painted. The first one says, you are my sunshine and the baby shower theme was a garden party. So I thought this was really cute to use in there. The next one that I found was this one that says dream big. I really wanted to paint this uh, frame gold and I just didn't get a chance to, but I'm pretty sure I'm gonna use this in my daughter's bedroom and I'm gonna go ahead and paint this frame gold. I think this would be so cute in a little kid's room and I think it's going to look awesome in my daughter's bedroom once I get this frame painted gold then i picked up this one that says enjoy the little things my idea was to use this in like near the desserts and stuff at the shower but i actually don't think i ended up putting it there i ran out of time setting up oh my gosh like i had to drive to miami and the shower started and i just i ran out of time decorating it exactly how i wanted to so i don't think i actually put this in the dessert area but that was my intention but it's still such a cute piece of wall art to use anywhere the next one that i found for the baby shower was the secret ingredient is always love i thought this was perfect since obviously it takes love to make a baby. Well, it doesn't take love to make a baby, I guess. But people that want to have a baby, it takes some love. <laughs> and so I thought this was cute for the shower. And the last wall art that I found for the shower, which worked out so perfectly, it fit in the area that I wanted to use it in. Perfect. I'm so glad I picked it up. Is this one. It says, thanks for being part of my journey. And it has the little flowers in the back of this. The glass actually fell out and broke, but it was fine. Um, I didn't even need the glass in it because it looked still so cute in the area. I just thought this was just too cute and perfect to not get for the baby shower. So that's everything I picked up at this Dollar Tree trip that I am so obsessed with. I love, again, that it's all like this farmhouse style decor that so many people want to have and want to find. And the fact that you can find it at Dollar Tree is so awesome. I love it so much. I hope you guys enjoyed this haul as well. Leave in the comments below what was your favorite thing that I hauled. And don't forget to give this video a thumbs up if you did enjoy it. Like it, share it, spread the love of Dollar Tree and the amazing finds you can find at Dollar Tree. I'm so excited about it. Oh my god, I'm just like, I'm still kind of giddy about how much I was able to find. Yeah. 
that's it. I hope you all have an amazing rest of your day. Thank you so much for watching and I will see you in my next video. Bye.